Garcia conducted a two-part experiment on the development of taste aversion for rats. In the first part, thirsty rats were provided with saccharin flavoured water paired with a bright light and a clicking noise, which was originally the neutral stimulus. There were two groups of rats. One was electrically shocked, which was the unconditioned stimulus, which reflexively evoked a pain response, pain being the unconditioned response. A second group was exposed to radiation via x-rays, which was the unconditioned stimulus, which reflexively evoked illness, which was the unconditioned response for that group. So in response to this, the actual rats developed a taste aversion to saccharin flavoured water. So their conditioned response was avoiding the saccharin flavoured water all it required was the smell of it, and they'd avoid it. So the saccharin flavour was the conditioned stimulus, which, after one trial, the rats avoided the conditioned response. Then Garcia conducted part two of the experiment, in which the rats were offered water via one of two procedures, either saccharin flavoured water with no light or noise, or unflavoured water paired with the light and the noise. The group of rats that were originally shocked, that is, the electric shocks were paired with the light and click noise, they now avoided the water when it was preceded by the light and the click noise. The light and the click noise being the conditioned stimulus, the conditioned response being the rats avoiding the water. That is, the association had been made between the light and the click sound with pain. The second group of rats that became ill from the radiation, that is, there was a pairing of the radiation with the saccharin flavoured water, they now avoided water that had that saccharin smell. So just on the smell, condition stimulus, the smell of the saccharin flavoured water, they would not drink it. Again, the association had been made between the smell of the saccharin water and actually becoming ill via that radiation unconditioned stimulus. For both groups of rats a taste aversion had been conditioned. So Garcia's conclusion that rats had learned to avoid the unconditioned stimulus whether it be an electric shock or nausea from the drug by avoiding the water that was paired with this. Thus Rats, and indeed we can generalise these results to animals, associate stimuli in ways that foster and enhance our survival, survival of the fittest.